Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today we are doing a little throwback, we are, I am. <laughs> I am doing a little throwback video and this has been a thing for uh, quite a long time on YouTube. But I haven't done any and then Annette did one and I was like I need to do that and then Paulina did one and and now it's my turn. So I am doing a um, throwback to my favorites that I had a year ago, my August favorite 2018. And that was my first favorite video in English, so I thought I would start with that. If you want me to do this like a monthly thing, please let me know and I can fix it or I just do it from time to time. So I'm going to talk about the favorites I had a year ago and if they are still favorites. And when I picked out those things, I realized I need to throw some of these away because they are old or are supposed to be old. So I had some skincare things and one extra thing and some makeup products and I think we just hop into the video. So you can start with a little extra thing and a year ago I discovered ear weights. If you have been here on my channel for a while, you know that I this is my normal plugs that I like always wear because they are so comfortable and I feel that they suit me very good. But sometimes I use ear weights and a year ago I discovered ear weights and I love them so much. I bought so many ear weights this last year but the ones, the first ones I bought and the ones that come into ear weights is this one. These are Rosenkvarts. It is in Swedish. I don't know if it's the same in English but it's stone. They are very comfortable and they are not so heavy. I really like them and I have bought so many more of ear weights. I just love to have ear weights on. If you have stretched ears sometimes the bigger ears you got, the more sore your ears can be when you are sleeping. So sometimes I want to give them a break and then I put in ear weights. And then in to some skincare products. And this was when I realized I should throw at least one of these away. But we can start with the thing that I definitely should throw away. This is a Hydra Memory Mask from Comfort Song. This is an Italian brand. This is one of the most expensive face masks I have ever bought. I like this still. It still works. It doesn't smell funky. So I guess I can use it. It should only be open for six months. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is the smell. I have never done it. It smells... It's like these natural ingredients and... That's not my jazz. It can be natural ingredients, but I don't think it has to smell. But this smells Moringa, and Moringa is not a favorite for me, but it is a good face mask. I think it's a little bit too expensive though, so it's nothing I'm going to buy again. But it's good, and if you want to spend that much money on a face mask, do it. It's good. It's nothing bad, but it's just... It's not as good as the prices. But I still like it. And the other two products are from The Ordinary and this is Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. I loved this last summer. I have used almost everything up. I am not super impressed. I will not buy this again but it's nothing wrong with it. It's good but it's nothing like extraordinary. And the last make Makeup. The last skincare product I love last year is the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. And this is for brightening your eye area and minimize wrinkles, pigmentation and puffiness. I like this one but I don't have time for this extra step in my skincare routine and I have bought some more expensive eye creams. The last year but I think this is good I think it feels good I don't know if it helps but it feels good so if you don't want to spend much money on an eye cream I can recommend this because this is pretty cheap so yeah still like it should maybe throw it away because it's only going to be open for a year but who the hell does that and who 
can use this up because you don't need much at all so yeah still like it don't use it because I don't want it I don't have time for that extra step in my skincare routine not in the morning at least and then a product that I like scooched over from scooched over from skincare to makeup and it was a spray from the body shop the mandarin energizing face mist still love this one I think I've used up two of these and this one I got as a I think it was when you bought two skincare products you got a face mist and I bought new cleansers and then I got this and I love this this is so so good the only thing I wish they would sell it in a bigger container as well but I still love this this is one of the best one of the top two like energizing glow mist I have ever tried so still love this so so much and then we can go into the makeup favorites I had a year ago and two things I don't have um, one was a makeup sponge from Ecotools. I still love that one and I have tried to buy it again but it's like every time I'm going to buy a new sponge in a store the Eco Togles sponge is always sold out but I love that sponge it is cheap it is vegan it is such a good sponge maybe all sponges are vegan <laughs> but it's a really good sponge and I could definitely buy it again and it's still a favorite the other favorite that I don't have is a uh, pixie lower lash mascara I didn't use it up I loved it a year ago but I don't put mascara on my lower lashes so it was good for that purpose but I don't use it and I like never used it I used it sometimes but it was nothing for me it was good though but nothing like exciting for me so still not favorite then I have four makeup things left and I want to save the, the two eyeshadows to last so we can Take a lipstick I loved a year ago, and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Pink, um, their minis. I like Anastasia's matte lipstick. This is not a favorite color for me. It was a year ago, but it's not. I don't use this, this that much. I think this is the one I use the least right now. It is a good lipstick, but pink isn't my favorite color to put on my lips and I know that I have pink on today okay but it's not my super favorite then one highlighter that I still love I think I had this in favorite videos not a long time ago can't remember and it's the Urban Decay and Christian Leanne Beauty Beam and that shade in the middle I still love it I still use it I use this in periods like I this is the only highlighter I use and then I like forget about it and then I come up and use it every day not every day every time I really like it the one in mail but it is such a good highlighter but I don't talk about this that much because you can't buy this anymore and it doesn't feel nice to give you tip that you can't use I really hope that I haven't been out of focus the whole time Okay, so the last two things that are eyeshadow palettes. One of these are very, very, very special to me. A little backstory. <laughs> I think you hate my backstories. Um, before I went in to have my channel in English, I had it in Swedish. And it was like this. When I went over to English, I started to experiment with colors more, colorful eyeshadows and stuff. And these two palettes are a little bit special to me because these two palettes was my favorites a year ago. Was two of the palettes that really made me to love color. One of them is the Color Drain Vivid Pigments. I can never know. Uh, I bought this when it came out with this magnetic palette and. The colors as singles now it's sold in a palette i think that was not a good choice for them but hey 
I don't use this as much as I should but I still really really like it. I used this one not that long ago, this sauce shade, I think. Yes. Uh, in my monochromatic red look. I don't pick this up and I don't know why because I like these shadows but I just don't reach for it. Maybe I should do like a little throwback things with palettes that I don't use that much anymore because this is good shades. I know it was like it split the YouTube when it first came out. Some people hated it, some people loved it. I maybe not loved, loved all the colors, but I think it's good shadows and I should use this so much more but I never reached for it. And the last palette, that this palette I love still, I use it not as often that I might should use it. This was one of my favorites of 2018, this palette. It is, it is a wonderful palette. It is the Sewell palette by Juvia's. By Juvia's, by Juvia's Place. This, I think this was one of my first Juvia's Place palette. I can never remember, but I think I bought two at the same time. I think I maybe bought this and the Magic palette, or I bought the Magic palette first and then this one. I can't remember but I love this one. I love this palette so so much. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It has a special place in my heart still because this was one of the palettes that really got me into color and it like I experimented a little bit with color so it it feels like this palette started it all and I am so happy for this. I still love it not only because it has a special place in my heart because it is such a good palette. If you don't have it, I think everybody that love color should have it because it is an amazing palette. I really, really love this palette. I really hope that you like this little throwback video. If you want me to do more, just tell me and I will see what I can do. And also, I... Um, I may be thinking to do a little throwback series. I know that a lot of people do it, but I think... There is so many palettes on the market and it's like you have to buy, 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 buy. But you don't because you can have great things in your collection already. So I think you may be doing some throwback things as well. I don't know if you want that. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but maybe. So maybe I should start with Color Drain because that was one of my first reviews on a palette, I think. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope you liked this video and... If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!